Alrighty guys, what's going on? Linky here, and in today's video, we're gonna be discussing a couple rumors that have come up surrounding Pokemon Day in a couple weeks. Now, we have had a variety of leaks and rumors about what we might see on Pokemon Day if we do, in fact, get a Pokemon Presents, anything from Scarlet and Violet DLC being announced to updates to their apps, Pokemon Go, Pokemon Cafe Mix, all of those different things, Pokemon Masters EX, the whole slew of Pokemon products maybe some Pokemon Center stuff, all of that. But one thing that we've recently discovered is in the code for Pokemon Day's website, there is a hint to a potential spin-off game that we might be seeing very soon. Let's discuss it. Let's get right into it because it's really exciting and there's a lot to speculate and think about here. People have found in the language, in the code of Pokemon's website, on the page teasing Pokemon Day and talking about all of the fun things that they're doing in the buildup to the date actually arriving, the name of the developers of the Pokemon Mystery Dungeon franchise. That is Spike Chunsoft. They have made all of the Pokemon Mystery Dungeon games. They are the creators of Mystery Dungeon as a series. Some people don't know that there are actually Mystery Dungeon games under the franchise umbrella that aren't Pokemon games. It's sort of like Pokemon Conquest, which was a merging of two franchises. It's the same thing, roughly, even though there's far more Pokemon Mystery Dungeon games than there is the one Pokemon Conquest game on the DS. The developer's name there could mean absolutely nothing. It could mean something very small. For instance, we now know that Game Boy and Game Boy Advance games are coming to Nintendo Switch Online. Well, we're highly speculating here, and many people believe it, that we're going to get Game Boy Advance games and Game Boy games on the service, the Pokemon games, very soon. It just makes too much sense not to put them on. There are Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Game Boy Advance games, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Red Rescue Team and Blue Rescue Team, which recently got a remake on Switch, has a version of the game on the Game Boy Advance. It was a dual console release. One version came out on Nintendo DS, the other one came out on GBA. So maybe they're announcing that the GBA version is going to be available on the NSO service, and since that is happening, it's something that falls under Spike Chunsoft's periphery, so they're crediting them. It could be something as small as that. But <laughs> since we have a lot of leakers and rumors claiming that we're going to get some kind of Pokemon spin-off title in this Pokemon Presents, Mystery Dungeon, now having the developer's name on the website, a lot of this seems to be fueling speculation that we're going to get a brand new Mystery Dungeon title coming out this year. What could that be? Well, in my opinion, it's one of two things, if it is not that GBA NSL port. We're either getting a brand new Pokemon Mystery Dungeon game, probably in a similar style to the remake of Red Rescue Team and Blue Rescue Team that we saw a couple years back, the one that I just referenced before. It's a gorgeous art style, watercolor design. I absolutely love it. I think it is a great merging of kind of like the art style of some of the old classic Mystery Dungeon art and the 3D graphics of modern Pokemon games put into a Mystery Dungeon title. I love it. It's one of the highlights of Pokemon on Switch. If you have not played the Mystery Dungeon game, I would recommend it just solely because of how gorgeous it looks. It is wonderful, and the story's pretty good too. So we could be getting a brand new Mystery Dungeon title in that art style. It's entirely possible. And I'd be down for that. Some of the more recent Mystery Dungeon games that haven't been remakes, they've fallen a little flat for me. The stories at times have seemed too grandiose. They've seemed too contrived. It feels like they, they hit gold once with a story in Mystery Dungeon, and they've tried to kind of replicate that world-ending impact again and again, and it hasn't really landed. They've been fun, and the gameplay is pretty much the same in all of them with a couple small tweaks here and there. They design really nice worlds. Of course, the Mystery Dungeon formula, if you don't love it and it's not for you, you're not going to get a ton from it, but it's the same thing for all of them. So if we got a brand new Mystery Dungeon game, whole new story in the art style that we've already seen on Switch, I'd be okay with it. I would pick it up. I would play it. I enjoyed the Mystery Dungeon formula. But part of me just thinks. We've already gotten the Red Rescue Team and the Blue Rescue Team remakes on Pokemon, on Nintendo Switch with Pokemon. The next game in the franchise to come out after Red Rescue Team and Blue Rescue Team was the highlight for many of the Mystery Dungeon franchise. It was when we got Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Explorers of Time, Darkness, and eventually the third version, Sky. 
Now, before we go any further, I just wanted to mention that the vast majority of you guys who are watching these videos and hopefully enjoying them aren't subscribed to the channel. Now, of course, subscribing is free and you can unsubscribe anytime. And if you do subscribe, be sure to turn that notification bell on so you never miss another upload. And check out the join tab, see if the perks interest you. And if you want to go the extra mile in supporting me, that is also always greatly appreciated. These games have pound for pound the best story in any Pokemon mystery dungeon game. Pound for pound the best story in any Pokemon game and one of the best stories that has ever been told in video games. It is a criminally underrated game. Only sold like 1.5 million copies, I believe. Criminally underplayed. I think it makes more sense from a nostalgia perspective, from a marketing perspective, from continuing to do what they've done, which is make remakes in this art style, because it's a brand new art style. They should bring Mystery Dungeon Explorers of Time, Darkness, and Sky, probably a remake of Sky similar to the titling of DX. Bring it to the Nintendo Switch. Bring the best story in the Pokemon Mystery Dungeon franchise to the Switch. Bring it to a brand new base of players. Bring it to a brand new era of Pokemon fans who might not have been around and old enough to experience the game for the first time. These are games that are incredibly hard to come across now. If you go online and try to find copies of Sky or the other versions nowadays, you're not going to get them for a cheap price. They're retro now. <laughs> Unfortunately for, for me feeling really old, they're retro. These games are excellent. And if you're looking to do a remake of them, there's so much content that you could hit on. Back in the day, there was downloadable missions and other things that you could do once you beat the game. If you remake Explorers of Sky as opposed to Explorers of Time and Darkness or find some way to merge all of them together, there was a ton of extra story content and extra missions added in Sky that really continue to support the cast of characters at Wigglytuff's Guild, Bidoof being a notable one. There's so much they can do with this and there's so much they can do to make this game absolutely gorgeous on the Nintendo Switch. The sprites in Mystery Dungeon Explorers of Time, Darkness, and Sky were already incredible. They look great. The art style still holds up today. But adding some of the improvements that were made on the formula on the Switch edition, adding the new art style, giving us that classic story on a brand new console, I think is the best possible thing for the franchise. It's the best way to put their foot forward and try to sell more copies of the franchise because it is the best game in the franchise and if it sells well you can make a new game but they didn't really the new games don't hold a personal you know they don't hold much weight with me this is a this is purely personal bias i've seen plenty of people on twitter and other places say that they would like a brand new game they want a brand new story to experience they don't want to retread i understand that selfishly <laughs> i adore the story of time darkness and sky it's one of my top five favorite games of all time for the story, for the music, for everything that's part of it. And to have that experience on the system that we play day to day now, with a brand new art style and the music redone and all of that, and have a light shown on it again, personally, I think that would be incredible. And this leak and this code that we found on Pokemon's website gives me a ton of hope that we're going to see it. And we're going to see something that I've tried to predict like three years running for Pokemon Day, a new mystery dungeon game since the remake. I've tried many times to manifest this into existence. To maybe see that it's actually coming is absolutely incredible. I'm really hopeful. We will see what happens in a couple weeks on Pokemon Day. But let me know what you guys think down below in the comments section. Would you be excited about a new Pokemon Mystery Dungeon game on Switch? If so, what would you prefer? A remake of Time, Darkness, and Sky or a brand new entry? Let me know below. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Turn the notification bell on so you never miss future content. I've been Linky, and we'll see you all in the next video. Peace out.